Spurge here with Revzilla, and in this video, we are going to break down the new version of the Alpine Stars Missile V2 race suit available at Revzilla.com. So this is a suit that I'm very familiar with. The Missile has been my go-to for the past, I would say two riding seasons or so. This is gonna be your entry level suit in Alpine Stars that also gets you Tech Air compatibility. When the Missile was redesigned to accept Tech Air, the big story was that it was coming in at that thousand dollar price point and still allowed you to get airbag protection. Price hasn't changed. You're still looking at about $1,000 for the Alpine Stars Missile V2, and we're seeing a lot of key upgrades here. There is going to be an ignition version. So if you're looking on the site and you're like, well, what's the difference with the ignition version? The ignition version really just is a different graphic package, and then it's incorporating slightly different tweaks of the new matrix fabric on the side. But really, unless you're in love with the absolute graphic of the ignition, the Missile is still gonna be our recommendation for the top pick for getting into a airbag suit from Alpine Stars. Again, this is coming in around the $1,000 price point. The Ignition version comes in around $1,100, which is just that upgrade in graphics, to be honest. And then if you're looking at the true next step up, you'd be looking at the Fusion suit from Alpine Stars, which is another new one for this year. That's where you're getting into a nice large combination of that new matrix fabric, as well as that ride knit stretch material. For those of you looking at getting into your first race suit or your first step up into an airbag suit, Missile has been a perennial favorite year after year. Like I said, I've had one for the last two riding seasons. And what I like about it is from a fitment standpoint, if you are a larger rider, this is a great option to consider. It does fit really well for those of you that are either a little bit taller or like myself, I'm just, I've got thicker thighs, I've got larger legs, I'm just a larger build, and this is gonna work really well for you. Mr. McHugh on my left-hand side stands at about six feet tall, weighs in at 220 pounds, has a 44 inch chest, and according to the Alpine Star sizing chart, he should be in a 56. The note here is that if you are planning on using this with the airbag vest, you want to go with what Alpine Stars recommends, which would be the 56. Mr. McHugh is wearing this in a size 54 to show how it fits if you're wearing this just with your standalone back protector. Again, really what he likes is he likes a nice aggressive fit suit that will break in over time and again he's not wearing this with the airbag suit underneath the idea there is the airbag suit does need a bit of room to go off so just keep that in mind as you're planning the purchase and you're planning on which size you want to go with are you going to go with the airbag system or are you just wearing the suit over top of a standalone back protector sizes will range from a 46 up to a 60 and there's three different colors available Pat is wearing the black white option, as you can see right here. Let's hit on some of the key differences between this suit and the outgoing one. Uh, first and foremost, the armor in the hips is gonna be different. It's not gonna be a BioFlex armor, which is a CE level one armor. What I like about this is it's not nearly as bulky and as hard as the outgoing hip armor. So a little bit more comfort, a little bit more flexibility with this. You're also gonna have a little bit tighter fit at the forearms. And if you see Mr. McHugh, give me that left arm over there, you no longer have the tech race system built into the suit for compatibility. This is now really focused on that Tech Air 5 system, which is a standalone unit. Now, we've heard rumors that there is going to be an additional uh, airbag system coming out from Alpine Stars. It's not out yet. We don't have more information at this time, but really the idea that I'm seeing Alpine Stars move here is that this suit is really kind of setting itself up for what will be next in the airbag technology revolution that Alpine Stars is bringing to the table. But as of right now, if you're trying to figure out which airbag system this new missile is gonna be compatible with, this is gonna be the Tech Air 5 system that you would wanna go with at this time for this particular suit, unlike the previous missile, which was designed to incorporate the race suit airbag system into the outfit itself. So this is still gonna be that 1.1 to 1.3 millimeter grade cowhide. You are still getting TPU on the shoulders for the sliders. The one thing to note here is on the elbows, the sliders on the elbows are no longer replaceable. This is just gonna be a baked in slider. So if you're going full Mark Marquez on the asphalt, just keep in mind that these are no longer replaceable. For the price point of the suit, I'm okay with that. Most people looking at this suit probably aren't dragging their elbows on the ground, but just a note here, this is no longer a replaceable piece within the suit itself. You're still having the stretch material working its way all the way down to the inside of the arm, the inside of the forearm. 
And the one note that's changed here that I actually really like is that the liner is still removable, but you now have a zip out liner. So one of the issues that I had with the previous version is after a long day at the track, you're sweaty, you go to pull it out. The previous version, the liner was removable, but it had a little Velcro straps at the bottom and they tended to just come on done and I ended up pulling out the liner more often than not with the suit. So I like the fact that this new one has a small little YKK zip and then it has a coverage over top of it. So just an easier way to get the, uh, the liner itself in and out without having to worry about accidentally pulling it out after a long day out there on the track. McHugh, go ahead and face sideways, strike the riding position. Cordian stretch, back of the elbow, accordion stretch a little bit at the top of the arm, but the big story here is that the accordion stretch that's working its way down the body portion has been expanded a little bit, and you're gonna see around the yoke as well. This accordion stretch now goes all the way around to the, uh, the full side of the hip, combined with that CE level hip armor, that new BioFlex armor that's in there, added additional comfort. None of the other armor has changed in this, so it should note that you're still getting that CE level one protection at the elbows, the shoulders, and the knees baked in, and then if you were to go ahead and add in a Tech 5 airbag suit, that's when you take the whole thing and you bump this up to full CE level two protection. McHugh, go ahead and face backwards for me. Biggest change at the back is you're now gonna have a more breathable stretch material at the top of the speed hump. This is gonna help promote airflow from the top down into the back of the suit. So just better uh, ventilation with this. What you will notice, and we'll talk about this another bit at the front because I failed to mention it, the perforation has changed a little bit. More localized perforation, you're not gonna see that perforation go all the way to the edge, the way you did on the previous version of the missile. This just helps with additional reinforcement and helps with the overall integrity of the suit. Keep in mind that no suits really in Alpine Stars line are designed to have a slip-in back protector, so no back protector is included. You would wear a standalone back protector with this, um, or you would go ahead and you would add the Tech Air 5 or the Tech 5 Air airbag system. So again, just taking a look down the back of the leg, you are gonna have those expansion gussets. Mr. McHugh has the one over on the right leg fully expanded. There is a little bit more room in the knee and the calf on this particular suit. So even with the, uh, the previous version, you know, I liked it because it did give me that, uh, that room that I needed in my thighs. Um, I did have to use the expansion gusset on the calf. So with this one, there is just a little bit more room naturally baked in even before you get into that expansion gusset. McHugh, go ahead and face forward for me. So this is what I was talking about earlier. You can see the perforation doesn't go all the way to the edge on this new this new missile, not as much perforation, but again, I, I think if you're looking at the extra protection that you have here, less chance of that perforation ripping at the seams. And then if you were looking at the ignition version, you would see a little bit of an extra strip of that new matrix material just kind of running down the side to promote a little bit of additional airflow without compromising integrity. And then you can take a look just down the front. This is where you're gonna see a little bit more room in the knee. Um, you still have the accordion stretch at the top, still have that CE1 knee armor in there. From the bottom down, it's gonna be very similar to what you saw with the previous version. What I've always liked about this suit is that for an entry level $1,000 price point, you're getting into airbag technology. This is a suit that for so long has really punched outside of its weight class for what you're getting. Yes, you can take a step up, into something like the Fusion if you want more creature comforts. But if you're looking for just an amazing protective suit that's not going to you know, completely break the bank that gets you into airbag protection, uh, this is really the number one recommendation that we've had for a long time because of you know, what you're getting from a bang for the buck factor. And the fact that this new version two adds a couple of key upgrades, is gonna be compatible with you know, the new airbag system which Alpine Stars will be releasing and is more aimed at that standalone protection that we've seen with the Tech Air 5 over the past 18 months. This is a nice step forward without seeing an increase in price. So really exciting to see what Alpine Stars is doing for their, uh, their track side of things. And there's a lot of riders out there like myself that have been using Alpine Stars for years. So if you wanna hear more about what they have to say, you can click the info button on your desktop or mobile device. You can read other rider reviews from folks that are putting the Alpine Stars Missile V2 to use out on the track. Or if you're not sure where to start and which track suit is right for you and your budget, you can always reach out to one of our gear geeks at 877-792-9455 or shoot an email over to cs at revzilla.com. They can walk you through all the different options available to make sure you find the right race suit for your style of riding as well as for your budget. I want to thank you for joining us today for this look at the Alpine Stars Missile V2 race suit. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.